Maybe, Maybe so. Um, it appears that someone is trying to take G Time Johnny's home away from him. Did you hear about this shit? Where no. I did actually. Somebody on Twitter sent me this video. I think <laughs> I watched a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's G Time Johnny explaining what happened, and I don't. I'm still not clear exactly what's going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I will let everyone know he does have some sort of fundraising campaign if you want to help him. You just go to his channel. I'm sure you can find it in his latest video. Here it is. Hi, I'm Johnny Merrill, and I've been stabbed in the back by government. All right, so what happened was the housing crisis, 2000. Uh, you'll see on the paper down there the ex exact explanation of how I ended up in foreclosure. But a really short story is that during the housing crisis, Bank of America bonused employees for defaulting loans. I made three payments at a new rate because I called and asked for a loan. I made three payments at a new rate. And they, and they go, I, a year went by, or six months a year, and nothing happened. So I call them. I go, hey, what happened? And she goes, oh, we lost your paperwork. Make three more payments. Yeah. And so I, I made can't, three more I payments at a new rate. I literally, I can't follow what's going on. I, I told you. Payments. I made two payments. I made three payments. <laughs> I, called up, I called up Bank of America. They made a payment. And she said, well, what is going on? And I said, I made a payment at the new rate. And she said, we got three payments. I said, I only made two payments. <laughs> but I really meant that I made three payments. What is going on? Johnny, just uh -huh. tell us what's happening, man. We'd like to help, but fuck. I mean, but fuck. It sounds to me like he started going to foreclosure. Then one of those like federal government programs will like lower your interest rate. Like he applied for one of those, but I think you have to miss like a certain number of payments to actually qualify. And then he started paying at his. I think in his mind he was paying at this new rate, but the bank probably never finished the paperwork. So so I ended up just saying he defaulted on his original loan. And nothing happened for another six months or a year. I called him back. And they go, oh, messed up again. Make three more payments again. All that money was embezzled. And I, you know what the thing is, and I've always lived by this. Screw me once. Shame on you. Screw me twice. Shame on me. And there's not going to be a third time. Well, I had the honest pers perspective. I didn't break any laws. The bank broke the laws. Bank of America bonused those, ki those people for forcing us into foreclosure. And the government profited from it, too. All right, and now when it came time and they actually wanted to move in and now take my home, I forced them to work in a digital environment and I brought government with me. All documented evidence that you see below this video is, uh, is on three different government servers. Arrest me if I'm lying, government. I'm taking you to the digital world so that honest people like me don't get our houses stolen. He's taking him to the digital world. Yeah, so what the fuck does that mean, the digital world? Oh, who knows? That's where all the Digimon he's, live, dude. He's jacking them into the Matrix, where he has yeah. control of reality. <clears throat> it's like Tron, where he's the game master. I mean, unfortunately for him, Bank of America has a lot more power than he does. So, I mean, even if he's totally in the right, if they really want to foreclose on him, they're probably going to succeed. He's talking shit to Bank of America and yeah. the government. It's like, yeah. But... You know. Well, right now, friends, government stabbed me in the back. I was working for him and doing my best to lay down all this evidence. I have hung the uh, the mortgage fraud terrorist by the noose of the neck, and government blocked one, two sales. The third time, <laughs> boom, <laughs> here we are again. Can you you <laughs> Being like a Bank of America customer service representative trying to deal with Johnny, like he just called, uh, "Hi, government stabbed me in the back." <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. How can I help you? The government. You see, I made the three payments, sir. Do you have an account number? I don't. I, I don't. Uh, my name is Johnny, and I live in the woods. And I'm not a word slave. I'm not a word slave. I will not give you my last name. Well, sir, I can't help you then. Yeah, that's what they all say. They can't help me. Johnny, just, man. Just <laughs> I made three payments. I made two payments. made three payments. Now I, I just got eviction papers. Good. Thinking that the government okay. was going to protect me, and I was doing a good job. All right, I, so uh, I go help Johnny, I guess. He's having some vague, unexplainable problems, and <laughs> help him. Help him out if you want to help him.
Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's the best endorsement we can give, given that we understand literally nothing. <laughs> yeah. What's going on. Right. No clue. 